Okay, we have another one that we're going to be drafting by using transformations. Now, this particular one does not look like any of our base graphs. It doesn't look like 1 over x or 1 over x squared. So, for this one, what we want to do first is we have to modify this one. And we're going to do that by splitting the fraction up. We're going to first take the first one, divide by x, x over x, and then minus 1 over x. So we're going to do that for each one, each one being divided by x. If you simplify it, you get 1 minus 1 over x, and then I can reverse the order, and I can write it like this, negative 1 over x plus 1. So this is still using the same base graph of 1 over x because we actually see that one right here. We're going to move it up one unit, and we're also going to do a flip. So what that looks like is we're going to first take this and... and Normally your horizontal asymptote would be at zero, but the plus one on the outside, that moves it up one. So how do you know if it's not left or right movement? That's because the one is not written underneath the fraction bar. If you have the one written underneath the fraction bar, then we're going to be moving it, we move it one place to the left. But here, the one is completely on the outside of the fraction. So if it's on the outside, that would be that plus k, if we're referring to those transformation rules we did before in the past in the previous section, that moves the whole graph up one unit. So instead of the horizontal being at zero, it's actually going to move it up to uh, one. And so one is going to be your new horizontal asymptote. Well, then what's the rest of the graph going to look like? The negative that's here, what that does is it flips the graph this direction over the y-axis, which means that the graph is actually going to look like this. It looks like that dotted line right there. So which means that when you draw that in, the new graph's going to have to look like that dotted line. So I'm going to go one to the left and up one uh, to get the dot right here because it's, point, it's moved over to that. So from here, I'm going to go one to the left and up one, get a dot right there. The other one, I go one to the right and down one. One to the right and down one means that it would cross uh, right here on the x-axis. So all I'm doing is taking my original points, and I'm basically reflecting it over the line because it's got to look like these dotted lines here, and that's I'm just recreating them there. So the graph is going to come down and look like this. Then the other one is going to look like that one. So this right here would be your uh, completed graph. We moved it up one unit, and we flipped it from what the original one looks like. So we still use transformations on this one, but again, we had to modify the original one to make it look like this, so that way it's easier to see what the transformations are.